Good morning friends. I hope you guys are doing amazing. In case you're new here, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, this is a new vlog, obviously. I'm shooting this intro again because I think in the midst of me moving footage from my, you know, mem card to my hard drive and then to edit, I unfortunately lost the intro to this vlog. But nonetheless, I do hope you guys are doing great. In this vlog, we're gonna be recapping the whole Jumia event, the whole get ready with me. What else happens in this vlog? I hosted my friends for like, you know, a little cute lunch. I also went to watch Jurassic Park. There's also a lot of content, you know, BTS, catch up, all of that shebang. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's really irritating me that I lost the intro and I've gone through my SD cards and my hard drive back and forth, back and forth. Maybe I deleted it by mistake. Who knows? You know? But anyways, roll the clips. Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? Put some spotlight on this life. Whatever comes, comes to clear. Anyways. So, I've just finished showering my skincare. Done. I'm just gonna have to, you know, do this bit quickly, quickly. It's currently 12.58, so let's just say it's one. The event is supposed to start at two. So I'm gonna give them like a, you know, minus 30 plus 30. <laughs> but we need to get going, okay? For primer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Hydra Booster Primer. It's a sample actually. So before like I get the original one, I absolutely really, really like it. I usually like concentrate primer on my teaser especially so that it can my foundation has like a really really good base. Yeah. But I have been meaning on getting the milk hydro booster primer, I guess that's what it's called. Um Steph was actually telling me about it, so I'm gonna have to get my hands on that. Do you know what I mean? For foundation I'm gonna be using my all-time favorite foundation if you don't know this by now this is my favorite foundation this is the Too Faced Bond This Way 24 hour undetectable foundation I'm in the shade Chai absolutely absolutely love this foundation you know how you have like product you wear for when I'm trying to make sure the consistency is like really good you know and I want to look flawless like an angel this is the foundation I use you guys will um hear when we're doing the first uh i think this was in our first video and it's how our makeup routines are different steph does like brows first and then you know face later me i do face first and then brows later i don't know i i just i think it's faster and i think you'll even be able to see when we do the video it's faster i i prefer it and yeah also because I, my brows are practically done, so you know what I mean. I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe M439 brush and just blending that in. And these days I don't even apply that much foundation on my forehead. I just concentrate product on this side and then the remaining like excess that's on the brush, that's what I go in to use for my forehead, you know. Also, I just want to say this now, we are on the road to 10k, so if you're watching this and you haven't joined the family, please do so. Ah, it also feels like I haven't done a proper get ready with me like this, you know, like a sit down in so long, but I'm going to get back to it. You know, this week I was just up and down, you know, which is not usually, you know, the long when it comes to my weeks. Because I love to stay at home. One thing about me, by the time I leave the house, <coughs> Before you get me to leave the house. Oh, it's a struggle. So I'm just blending down the foundation always to my neck. I also have a double chin. So I like to go. <laughs> I like to make sure I get in there as well. I like this foundation. Full coverage. <sighs> it's like heaven. If there was a foundation, it would be heaven. I really want to like get to try all the other Too Faced products. You know, their concealers. I keep seeing... The concealer is being raved about. There is it the hangover primer? I keep seeing that one as well. I have to get my hands on them, but I'm not gonna lie. Too Faced is bloody expensive. It's like a high-end brand, so I actually got this from PR. <laughs> so I actually didn't buy it, but 
you know what I'm just gonna get myself the concealers and the primers and everything so yeah guys I've had this locks for seven months seven months friends seven months and if you want to know like more details I have curated a frequently asked question because I think every other day on my DM there has to hold my requests there has to be a sister asking me a friend asking me about you know the the looks so if you want all the details please go to my or before at least you ask make sure you check someone's you know highlights you know um if maybe they've posted it on on their post of if, if they've tagged something on their post just make sure you check because it gets and then people will say I ignore them in DMs, but I'm not going to re respond to something I've answered six million times, you know? So just, just try and check. If, you, if I told you don't check, then th that makes sense, you know? But please, friends, let's just make an effort. And also, when a creator says screenshot, just screenshot. Please, please screenshot. Just screenshot. You might not even, whether or not you think you're going to need it, or you know you can you can just screenshot and then at least have it on standby instead of every other time you're asking the same questions and it's like how many times do I have to say? And the I I made sure the frequently asked highlight is the first one. So when you come to my page, that's the first highlight you see. So let's let's make use of that. Forgot to mention the concealer I'm using. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer um, in the shade Fawn. I'm gonna let my concealer, you know, sit for a bit and then I'm gonna go in with my contour. I'm using the Black Opal contour, uh, Foundation Contour. I mean, foundation, it's actually a foundation stick, sorry. This is the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick and this is in the shade Ebony Brown BM7. And so I'm just gonna go little by little by little. I'm looking for, yeah, okay. So I could just go in with the product itself and just do that. Just like dots from here. I want my face to look full. I'm not really going for like the snatched, you know. Then I'm gonna be going in with a brush from Liabella. Absolutely, absolutely love their brushes and this is their contour brush. And so when I'm blending my contour, I go out, you know. Like I go out, I don't drag it back in. So we're just gonna blend, 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 blend. What else has been going on? We're gonna do like a proper life update. But I think so far, I've just been, you know, I was in like a really bad funk creatively. And I think I've talked about this like in other blogs, like slowly getting out of it. And so I really wanna get, I'm really just, I think as of last week is when I really started, you know, getting back to creating fully so yeah but i'm excited i'm excited i'm really hoping like things pick up i'm also due to graduate in september and i'm also like you know struggling obviously with like and especially anxiety because i'm like okay so what next we graduate and then what you know and then for the excess product i'm just gonna go in and at least attempt to give myself a job <laughs> Ah, I also think I've gained weight, but anyways, I don't like it, but it is what it is. Next, I'm gonna be going in with blush. I love blush, and to think there was a time I never used to wear blush, friends. Ah, get up! So this is the, sorry, just need to close it properly. This is the Luxurian Beauty. This is a Kenyan brand. They both have um, liquid blushes and liquid highlighters. Absolutely love these products. So this is in the shade Sun Kissed. It's a very rosy pink. That's how it looks like. Comes with a little pump. So I'm just gonna dot. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yes. Guy, guy, guy. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a brush and like scoop. You know. But I absolutely love blush. Oh, friends. I also like to put blush um, at, the, at the apex of my nose. I did a collab in 2018 and it was with Atika Vanessa I'm sure you guys know her she has such amazing makeup her makeup is always flawless and I remember she's the one who was like 
you know we did the collab and i realized she puts blush like at her, the apex of her nose and i was like i like that you know i like that it's like a nice touch i'm using the labella blush brush very fluffy and i'm just going in oh, i just love a good blush i love a good blush i can now go in and you know blend 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 what's the time before i'm just here talking to you okay it's we started at like one it's only 10 minutes you see why this face first then brows and eyes later works so quick then we're in 10 minutes i'm gonna be going in with a maybelline um concealer and this is in the shade deep 35 and i'm just gonna be going into you know the inner corner just want to like have like an inner under eye to be like really really bright. okay not really bright but like bright <laughs> i'm gonna be using the same contour stick and blending i mean and doing my the same contour stick i mean the same foundation stick for my contour and doing my nose contour you don't actually have to do this you could actually just use like you know contour powder and stuff but i prefer to use product product now to set my under eye i'm gonna go in with my sasha buttercup setting powder and this is the banana shade unless i'm wrong now a hack that i came to realize when it comes to setting your under eye is instead of using a blender you use a makeup puff now usually they are the triangular ones but i don't have that so i'm gonna use the makeup puff from my elf setting powder and it gives you a more airbrushed finish versus using an actual you know blender so obviously for my nose contour because i don't have the triangular one i just like use um a blender you know but for the rest i use the puff so i just put it like that i can fold it a bit and just go in And I find it that it actually like makes the product sit and yes, I mean get into your skin other than just sit on top. So I don't know if you can see it's very absolutely love it. So if you have these puffs or if you can get yourself one perfect for setting powder. I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. This is my favorite part. Give it a little shake. <laughs> so because um i want my outfit to be the focal point for makeup i'm just gonna do something very minimal i still put a little bit of like powder blush just a little you know you can never have enough blush <laughs> So, for brows, now that I got my brows done, I really just like comb them, fill them in a bit, and then um, for the eyes, I think I'm gonna do something neutral. I'm gonna stick to neutrals, maybe browns. Yeah, I'm not gonna do too much because my outfit is already eh, and I don't want my face and my outfit to be competing. So I'm gonna catch up with you guys later. Also because I, I need to hurry up because time is time is running and I don't wanna be late. Okay, I also don't wanna stay like that like if i can be home by five it would be great <laughs> or latest six i, I just I, especially after this week i just want to come back home and rest and relax and also i'm hosting my friends you know my my sisters you know friends have become family tomorrow and i'm really excited you know for all of us to just meet and board and catch up and laugh and eat and just yeah so i want to go and come back immediately 
but yeah i really really like my base this is my base guys i'm not even done my brows it's very warm i love it i love it and you see why i like to set with a path because everything just looks very you know and when I've, I've noticed when i use like a path because the product like actually gets in and doesn't like sit my makeup does not crease my makeup stays like this forever so i'm gonna catch you guys later okay friends <laughs> so after six years of getting into this stuff i'm not gonna lie it's, it's quite a lot of work to get especially myself into it and yeah so this is the outfit we have a huge bow corset top going on it's open back had to tuck it into the pants but yeah this is the gotta fix that canary because they yeah and then the pants they are super super long i had originally thought of maybe wearing them with because this is how the piece was custom made but then i also have my orange um white leg pants um am i because it has taken me six years to get into this but anyways um yeah my orange ones but then i don't know i i actually prefer the straight fit and i had asked my close friends and majority of them said right fit but i'm still gonna go for the straight fit i think it gives me shape i think um and it's not completely straight because it flares going down but not completely so i'm gonna go with this and then the bags downstairs for earrings i'm really debating on whether i should wear long uh, they're not really long but like you get like a, a, a gold piece going down or just like a, a, a big old you know yeah, I think if I was something dripping, it would be competing with the top. So I'm just gonna, you know, <laughs> uh, wear the the really round earrings. Yeah. Anyways, it's going to two, and the event starts at two. So maybe I can, I'll be there by two thirty or three latest, depending on traffic and whatnot. But I'm gonna see you guys later. And yeah, I'm not gonna be carrying my vlogging camera. I'm just gonna vlog. The event from my phone also i don't want to be walking around with just so much baggage and you can't see the bag i'm carrying it can't hold anything so i might as well just take some few clips with my phone hopefully i get like really good photos because we must be seen we must be seen anyways i'll catch up with you guys later bye Early the next morning. My love language is your time and attention. Won't you give some of it to me? I've been lonely lately. I've been feeling it. And I want you to show me. Can we get back on the same page? Tonight can we stay? And why don't you talk to me, talk to me? Let's start a conversation. Why don't you spend your time with me? You're speaking my love language. It's just so 
also turned off her humanity, so that was the only thing that was making sense for her at that time. And, and she she did that after. She, she, she specifically mentioned Jeremy. But it's because of the bad memories. Can we open that episode right now? She killed Klaus to cover up Jeremy's death. So. Yes. I don't think she burnt the house specifically to just to cover, cover up, up Jeremy. Jeremy. That was one of the reasons. But she said there are bad memories in that house. Jenna died, John died, Jeremy died, everybody dead. Alaric died, dead. You give me my <laughs> this point. is all your babies, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> very competitive. <laughs> I'll just sit that again. Several days later. Good morning, friends. You know, I really look like a mess. It's even just funny now. I hope you guys are doing great. Today is it's today Wednesday or Thursday. I don't even have my phone here. Um, should think today is thursday oh it's today friday i think today is thursday unless i'm wrong today must be thursday i'm trying to remember when i last caught up with you guys yes sunday so sunday i hosted you know some of my friends it was basically like a chilled afternoon we made lunch that was like fries and pizza and salad and whatnot and then we just you know chatted away also played like a trivia for vampire diaries and original and jambi and i are stunned we can't fight tooth and nail for those shows we played a trivia for that what else did we do i think that was basically it it was a very chilled sunday afternoon and evening so on monday i'm trying to remember what eventual thing has happened maybe let's say on tuesday I had like a brief meeting and then uh, I think the same Tuesday I, I was yeah just there I edited a vlog and uploaded it did that was vlog 21 I'm gonna leave it here in case you know you haven't gotten the chance to watch it that was that and then and then what else I, I guess that was that and today must be Thursday I don't think it's Friday it's Thursday so POE of today I need to shoot content it's actually a few minutes to nine and I want to start shooting content by ten and yeah i have to shoot like a makeup reel and two styling reels and i really want to get them done if i can finish everything before one at least latest by one so that i can edit everything today i also need to start editing the vlog before this one i need to edit vlog 22 it's just sitting in my drive so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today now this week i think i'm gonna close off the vlog between today and tomorrow i know i have to get a touch up for my brows it was supposed to be a month after and i haven't gotten the chance to so i need to you know follow up and see if i can go either on saturday or or tomorrow i'm gonna see but anyways that's that i really hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs i'm really trying to like put them out there take it like a small hiatus but we are back you know bigger and better and we're on the road to 10k so we need to get these numbers up you need to join the family by now you need to have liked the video by now see you're the criminal you know so let me freshen up because i need to do you see why my camera keeps on losing focus and it's bugging me so much it's bugging me so much this is a, a sign that we need to upgrade i really want to get the sony is it the zv1 Oh, it is such a beautiful camera, my God! I need to get that one. Because my G7X is not giving what it's supposed to give today. But anyways, let me go freshen up, do everything. And then I'm going to catch you guys on the, you know, the behind the scenes for me filming. And yeah. <laughs> change the lens hello friends i'm just preparing to film so this is the 250d that i use and i'm just gonna switch the lenses so i switch from the 18 mil 
to the 50 mil. Just need to turn that around this one. We're just gonna screw this. It's now, what's the time by the way? 10.54 and I was supposed to have started filming by 10. I just, first of all, the, this vlogging camera died. I actually need to like get extra batteries because <laughs> it's ghetto when your battery is dying because I forgot to charge it. So I'm gonna get extra batteries for both cameras. I'm at this one has, no, this one doesn't have. So yeah. I was supposed to have started filming by 10 and then I, I don't know I'm sorting that laundry was just taking six years you know so I had to leave it charging and it was just the laundry the laundry was just too much <laughs> there's nothing I hate in this world like that folding clothes is actual labor so I just want to make sure my settings are fine so we're gonna switch it on Mm, let's see I guess this is fine because I'd left it like this anyways white balance ND filter I need to leave that on what is this okay no that's fine yeah so we're just gonna start filming I think I'm gonna do those um, those videos that we used to, that I haven't done in a while they're like the poems the poems or poems you know or just like the really nice um inspirational makeup videos and someone had actually sent me one to do the problem with doing those videos is that you have so much to memorize it's actually a joke it's not even fun you know obviously i don't memorize everything in one take i shoot them in bits but still trying to do let me let me show you guys like this video which got 360,000 views. Do you know how insane that is? And then there's another hack that I did and I checked yesterday and it was at 647,000 views. Like, <laughs> yesterday's price. It's not today's price. I love what somebody says about a woman. See this oh, video? She's too much. She's too much for me. She's too much of what? So I have to do another video like that. And there's a there's a creator I follow. She does a lot of those poems or poems or however you wanna say it. She's called Christy Stein. And I'm just gonna go and look for one. I think that was one I really wanted to do. Something about advice for girls. I'm gonna have to go and look for it. You know what I mean? Oh, get get has posted. Even before I know what she has posted, I'm already in the comments. We gotta get that engagement up. okay so i have some dms i don't know if i should respond to them now no i seriously need to start filming like yesterday someone has created a reel i love when somebody says about a woman oh she's, she's too much. much so many people have actually i think there were like a hundred and something reels from that sound so let me go to christy's page and look for oh, unless i had saved it i'm not even sure but yeah really excited i'm gonna be filming a monochromatic look red i got this cute little red purse yesterday and i can't wear it <laughs> i will wear it until it calls me by my names absolutely like that it's actually <clears throat> sorry it's actually a very simple bag but i really like it and it's red so i have uh and all of these things by the way they were bought separately i bought the red title like kitambo the blazer the red city studio pants uh i'm gonna you know use my mom shout out to my mom <laughs> her, her red trench coat just for like a layering you know i wish i had like a because this is giving very it could be perfect especially for the cold you know weather it would be great if i had um red glasses i mean i do have them but i don't like the cut it's like the cut eye mm -mm, not me may not like it let me just look for reels i'm gonna be posting a reel today no tomorrow actually and it's like an everyday glam where is that real friends this is i have like six million things saved even like when i think i'm gonna this one advice for girls be loud and gross and take up space stop saying sorry and start saying don't interrupt me stop saying because i have a boyfriend and stop so yeah 
that's the creator Chrissy Stein I'm gonna probably put her insta here or in the description box or every time I use her sound I always at her so yeah so let's get to shooting hey, say hi 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 vlog <laughs> hi Steph the vlog Mom, say hi. Please look at this hi, too. Hi, you look so nice. Subscribe to my channel also. We will. I already have. <laughs> Two hours later. Today is Monday, the 20th of June, I think. Yeah, so I really had like a chilled weekend. I can't really remember where I think we last caught up, but I think I was probably shooting content and this was on Thursday or Friday. I can't necessarily remember, but yeah, I had a very, you know, chilled weekend. I really did not have the, <laughs> we did not have the capacity, you know. To like go out and stuff but on saturday i did um go with my friend kinsey and drew and Vairimo and we went to finally go watch jurassic park absolutely loved it okay though kinsey and i are probably just screaming half of the time we went in the evening that is and then um we also went and you know got something to eat it was a very pretty much chilled you know um evening for saturday uh yeah Oh, also our friend Uncle Jay came. Shout out to you. He came and also now he didn't come for the movie though, but he came when we just went to eat. And yeah, that was basically Saturday, Sunday, yesterday. Uh, we woke up earlier. My mother was waking us up like soldiers. Saturday, okay. <laughs> you know, we woke up at six, went for the seven o'clock mass, came back, had breakfast, made lunch. It was a very chill Sunday. And then, you know, Miss Pep and I, my cat and my sister, we just, you know had like an animation marathon we watched Mulan by the way I am a child at heart I love animations and there's only so many times that I can rewatch them so yesterday we watched you know the first Mulan and the second one I know they did release the movie but I wasn't necessarily such a big fan of it and this is something I think is a proven you know fact if there's an animation and then they release the movie version of it eh, always half of the time or three quarters of the time the movies just they take away so much from the original animation it's just like what was the point you know so yeah and then we did an x-men marathon i had actually forgotten so much about the x-men my god i think we watched uh x-men dark phoenix x-men apocalypse and i think the other i can't necessarily remember but yeah it was really really nice just a chilled you know sunday in that's literally like my favorite thing to do on a sunday just binge marathon eat and just you know rest so yeah that was that and yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy this vlog <laughs> and i will catch you guys up in the next one in case you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and you know join the family we are on the road to 10k you know and i'm so so excited um actually today morning i was reviewing some you know content that i shot with steph a few weeks back I can't wait for you guys to see it and it, it's it's always so fun you know collaborating with you know like minded individuals and Steph and I are a, are a vibe Do you know what I mean we're, we're just vibes vibe all through so yeah I'm prepping to leave the house in a bit but obviously this will be part of you know the next vlog but I will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching don't forget to show some love like this video so that more friends can see it and I will see you guys in the next one bye